and welcome folks. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm Grandmaster Scotte and I'm doing something a little different today because I'm playing the Oregon Trail. Now why exactly am I doing this game instead of Resident Evil Gaiden again? Well, to be honest, kind of got bored of the game on, so I decided to do something different. So we're turning off the sound and we're traveling the trail. There we go. Now, we can choose to be a banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, and a farmer from Illinois. Pretty much the difference is, the closer you are to banker, the more money you have, but the less points you get. But because I suck and I don't care about points, we're going to be a banker from Boston today. The first name of our wagon leader. Well, of course, he shall be Scott A. Now, first names will form other members in our party. They shall be... Hmm. Let's go for Slag Troll, also known as my friend Callum. Millsy, also known as my friend Joe. Now, how am I going to do Sam's name? Because this has numbers in it, and this one doesn't want to accept numbers. Okay, let's go for a random two. Uh, will it fit in letters? No, or not. Okay, let's just do it with, I don't know, capitals. Capitals will do fine. Random TFS, also known as Sam. And of course, that lovable oaf, Dan. Also known as Dan. Come on, pass me. There we go. Okay, let's enter our names. Yes, these names are correct. Yes, this has been do done post commentary like before. We're going back to 1848. And now we have to choose. When are we going to leave? What month are we going to leave in? I say we leave as early as possible, even March. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Can't we use any of those other stores? Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you what you need. Team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. Next. Plenty of food for your trip, ammunition for your rifles, and spare parts for your wagon. Oh, you seem like a jolly fellow. Are you going to give this to us for free? No, you're not. Okay, so, first off, we're going to buy some oxen. There are two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge $40 for a yoke. We buy three yoke. So we get six oxen. Let's buy some food. It's 200 pounds of food per person, and it's 20 cents a pound. Damn, that's cheap. So we're going to buy a modest amount of 2,000 pounds of meat. We can buy some clothing. Now, say buy two sets per person, but I never really have a problem with clothing, so we'll just buy five sets. One for each. Let's buy some ammunition. Now, bullets are cheap in these times. Because $2 for 20 bullets, we shall buy 100 bullets. And finally, spare parts. I find the best thing to do is buy two of each. So it's two wheels, two axles, and two tongues. I still don't know what the heck a wagon tongue is. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck, you have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Thank you, Mr. Matt. Now to load the wagon. Yes, this is being played on the original Apple II version. I don't own an Apple II, because otherwise how would I record this? But we're starting March 1st, 1848, at Independence. So now we can choose where we, what do we want to do. Do I buy more supplies, talk to people, rest, change our food rations? Well, we're going to change our pace to go at a strenuous pace. And we're going to continue on the trail. 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. Onward to adventure! One of the oxen is injured. Only 87 miles. This isn't starting well. So, let's have a look at the Kansas River Crossing. Yep, that's definitely a river. And we got here in four days. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, because we're, we're 100 miles away from home, we're going to start starving them. That way they can't walk back. So we're going to continue on our trail, but first talk to these people. Duh, 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 duh. Sorry about, pretty much, if you want to ford the riverbed, you, the river can't be any more than two and a half feet. Otherwise, you will die. Or you can caulk and float, or buy your ticket on a ferry. This river is 652 feet across, 8 feet in the middle. Um, what should we do? We're not going to bother fording it. Could caulk it. Mm, we'll play it safe, take a ferry. Five dollars and we we'll have to wait four days. Four days across over a river? Jesus Christ. Busy, are ya? So, 
Over we go. The fairy got your party and wagon safely across. Yay. Okay, let's continue on our grand, grand adventure. Because we've got 83 miles to the next river. Nothing has died yet, and we're using 10 pounds of food a day. <laughs> Still too much. So let's have a look at the big blue river crossing. Very big, very blue. And let's have a little talk to these people, see what they got to say. We've had enough. Pesky flies and all day and mosquitoes at night. It's either baking sun or oceans of mud. Sometimes both. Worry over Indians attacking something about... Un pretty much that guy doesn't like what we're doing. But let's go over this river. It's 250, 245 feet across and it's 4 feet deep. So that rules out fording. Hmm. Well, looks like we're going to have to colk it. And we didn't die. Yay. One time, this was past playing this, everybody died at the, at the final river. That did not go well. So, 119 miles to our next destination. And it's our first fort. And Slag Troll has a broken leg. Well, that ain't gonna be good for us. Good thing we've got a place to rest. So, let's have a look at Fort Kearney. What are they doing to that child in the background? That doesn't look like it's a safe thing to be doing to his hair. But, let us see what we can do here. It's cold, we are f and our health is fair. So, I think the best thing to do is to stop a rest for a couple of days. Uh, let's call it three, three days rest. So, the slag troll can heal his broken leg. Bones heal very quickly, right? Ah, well, let's keep going to Chimney Rock. And we got a severe blizzard. We lost one day. And another severe blizzard. Okay, this is... Never known that many blizzards happen in March. And they're gonna live in England where it potentially always rains. So, Chimney Rock. We're gonna have a little look around. Very chimney-like. I suppose that's why they named it that. Okay, let's have a little talk to people. I hear terrible stories of wagon parties running out of food before Oregon. The whole party's starving to death. We check our supplies often, but we we might not get there as soon as we think. Plan for the worst, I think. So, good thing we bought 2,000 pounds of food and are only eating 10 pounds a day. 86 miles to the, to the next fort. And nobody died. Good. So let's have a little fort, look around Fort Laramie. Maybe we'll find some cigarettes. Is that a goat? Or is either a goat or a very long-eared horse? Let's see, it's warm weather and poor health. Uh, I think we should buy some more supplies. Let's see, we've got $955. And I think we need a bit more food. Let's buy... Let's buy 200 pounds. 30 cents a pound. It was a lot more expensive than it was last time. Let's have a little talk to the people. Oh, it's a Sioux Brave, or Sioux. I must forget how to pronounce that. Yes, see, I asked the white man to leave me alone and leave my buffalo alone. I make no promises. So, now on to Independence Rock. I'm sure it'd be very, very independent. Random TFS has exhaustion. How do you have exhaustion? You've been sitting on your bum all day. And it's also very cold weather, and another blizzard. This is a, is there a blizzard just following us wherever we go? And an, another blizzard, really? Whatever. Let's just make it to a fancy independent rock. So proud of his independence. Yeah, it's got some names on it: Charlie Dismet, Johnson, Zeke Phillips. I'm sure there's people saying how great their trip was. Okay, we need to stop for a rest because I hope it's doing pretty poor. Let's go for another three days. Yeah, and it's, we're still poor and it's snowing. I think we might need to rest again. We're not def definitely not going in snowy weather. Another this is six days to do well. Okay, it's just cold now. And s there's still snow on the floor. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Broken wagon tongue. But let's try and repair it. Unable to repair the broken wagon ton, have to replace it with a spare part. 
Well, at least we bought two of them. Okay, and here we are at the South Pass. Let's have a little look at it. Come on, press enter. Good boy. I'm sure he's just saying hello with his rifle in his hand. Okay, let's have a talk to people. Mormon traveller tells you my family and I travel with 40 other families to the Valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Ew. Well, I'm sure you Mormons will be happy on your way. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> okay, trail divides here. You may head for the Green River Crossing or head for Fort Bridger. Now nah, we'll chance it with the river. Ooh, we found some wild fruit. Yay. That'll help us with our food problems. And apparently we stole 50 pounds of berries. Okay, Green River Crossing. I'm sure those people are just doing very well crossing the river. Let's have a talk to them. Young boy tells you my family didn't buy enough food at Independence. We haven't been eating very well since Fort Laramie. Because of that, our health's poor. Probably because we stole all of your berries. Well, let's continue on the trail. We got a river to cross. 406 feet across, 20 feet deep in the middle. I think it might be best if we take a ferry on this one. Oh yeah, these are the explanations as to what all these mean if you didn't understand what I said before. So definitely going to want to take a ferry across, because there's no way we're going to be able to ford 20, foot of, for 20 feet of water without something going wrong. Ferry, get your party and wagon safely across. Well, I hope you would. We paid him $5. 144 miles to the Soda Springs. A thief comes during the night and steals one bullet. One bullet. You could steal anything, but you stole one bullet. Actually, I'm pretty sure he didn't steal the bullet. I'm pretty sure that was the one bullet we shot at him because he tried to steal from us. Okay, let's have a look at the Soda Springs and try and mourn the loss of our one lost bullet. Oh look, Dan's paddling in the water. <laughs> okay, let's have a talk to people. My, the soda springs are so pretty. Seems to sprout out at regular intervals. Hmm. So this person definitely wants to get to Oregon, and they definitely like springs that like to sprout out at spout out at regular intervals. Onwards to Fort Hall. Maybe we can get some more food and I don't know, take a nap. But we're doing fair on health apparently. Slag Troll has measles. I spoke too soon. Surprise. Surprise none of us have died yet, to be honest. Ooh, look. The entree has arrived. Okay, I think we're okay on supplies. So let's have a nap so we can get over our measles infection. May 31st. Back on the trail, all the way to the Snake River Crossing. Very little water. Very, very little water. And an inadequate grass. Things are not going our way. Milzy has dysentery. I hope he bought a bucket. Very little water. Slag Troll has a snake bite. Things aren't going his way today, are they? So far, an abandoned wagon with 21 bullets and a wagon wheel. Yummy. Bad water. Inadequate grass. More bad water. More inadequate grass. Snake River Crossing. You want to look around? I'd prefer to go around it, but if I have to look at it, may as well. That's a very happy looking Native American. With a feather sticking out of his head. Okay, let's have a little talk to people. Big Louie tells you. Who was this Big Louie, and why did we know him, apparently? Apparently many a crafts have been swamped in the foaming rapids. Good to know. But I like our chances. But first, we're going to have a nap, because we're all dying of something. So, on we go. Thousand feet across and six feet in deep. You know, we could hire an Indian for help. But I've, like my luck, we're gonna colk and float. Yes, nothing went wrong. Normally something goes wrong whenever we try and cross rivers without paying people. So, we're gonna continue along to Fort Boise. We've got bad water and a rough trail. And we're gonna leave it on that rough trail until next time. Until then, I've been Grandmaster Scott A. Goodbye.